right. All right, so here we go. Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we just had a 7.2 earthquake. Originally, it was registered at a 7.4, downgraded by USGS. That occurred at 0642 or 60648 UTC on the 16th of July, 2023, 98 kilometers south of Sandpoint, Alaska. This earthquake did cause a tsunami. The tsunami is so far currently registering in minimal. Uh, minimal size. We're talking a quarter meter or less from what I can see so far. Data is showing that the uh, the concern for the tsunami is diminishing as we go. But uh, the tsunami's impact area is pretty much north and slightly northeast of the epicenter of the earthquake. So there'll be minor increase of waves for that location but that is registered. There is definitely a very minor tsunami in that area, which is good. It's good that it's minor. Uh, an additional note, we have a proton event that's ongoing. Uh, the activity is minimal, fortunately, due to the fact that the event occurred mostly west and southward, coming in once again from region 3363. This uh, region has been giving us a lot of spontaneous and repetitious chronomass ejections and I've been saying that we've had a heightened chance of an X class from this I think what we're seeing here is surface changing here and that's one of the reasons for the proton event that we have here it's an eruption that's causing a lot of that plasma over a certain area and motion of the region as it continues to expand and restructure it has had a very last time we saw the HMIBC a very interesting and beautiful layout for its uh the polarity of the positives and negative were connected into the uh, photosphere or the surface of the sun. <clears throat> Pardon me. So as we can see here, this is the actual event that launched the proton event. You can see the plasma flying out a little bit here. And uh, before that, several hours ago, we've had four decent sized ICMEs that I've monitored. Two appear to be possibly glancing blows that we'll see. We'll of course see uh, an impact from the event of this event here as well. Uh, typically two to five days relatively, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow to get all that together to figure out exactly all the other details so I can have a good correlation of what's happening with SOHO and Stereo A imagery as well. But just to note, we have at least three ICMEs that I believe are going to have a minor impact on Earth. These all three appear to be glancing impacts, so nothing extensive, but it is going to be a repetitious of three storms, so that in itself will cause it to be slightly more significant, most likely a G1. Could maybe even, maybe even see a G2 level at that point, with the storm that we're already having on our way that Dr. Skov brilliantly pointed out and was able to analyze and present to us, which should be linked still uh, on the Depend for the Live channel. That uh, that is going to give us a little bit of a rattling as well. So with the combination of those two, depending how much time it takes for those storms to reach us, we could still be seeing a uh, slight disturbed <laughs> magnetosphere as these other storms arrive, giving us a little bit greater boost for a chance of aurora and things of that nature. So that's pretty much it. In Alaska, had a 7.2 earthquake, caused a minor tsunami. Appears things are calming down there. The waves do not appear to be too significant. And just recently had an um, ICME with a proton event from region 3363. And our, uh, we, are, we are at an S1 currently, but it's going down. So good news there as well. So that's it. <laughs> Cheers and science on.